Hi students, welcome to the next new class of linear algebra. Today we are going to discuss definition of isomorphism and related theorems and its proof. First we are going to discuss definition of isomorphism. Isomorphism, let V and W be vector space over the field F. V and W are said to be isomorphic if there exists a bijective linear transformation T from V to W. Definition go and the pariam. Let V and W be vector space over the field F. Okay. V and W are said to be isomorphic. V and W are another isomorphic arm in the If there exists a bijective linear transformation T from V to W. Angani Arnangil, V and W are said to be isomorphic Arnangil in the existing or bijective linear transformation t from v to w exist to jm in the definition parayinada. Next we are going to discuss a theorem and its proof. Okay, statement let v be a finite n dimensional vector space over a field f. Then v is isomorphic to fn. But the earth in a statement you want to end parayam. Let v be a finite n dimensional vector space. V is n dimensional vector space over F. Okay, that means we write dimension V equal to n. N dimensional I are dimension V is equal to n. We can prove that V is isomorphic to Fn. We can prove that we can prove that V is isomorphic to Fn. We can prove that V is isomorphic to Fn. We can prove that V is isomorphic to Fn. Moon claims you say the tana, it here prove another. First claim the another, T is a linear transformation in the provianum. Then second claim the another, T is one one anna the provianum. Claim three lamka chay another, T is on two nana. And a moon claim will I tana, it here prove another. Namkariam, V is isomorphic to Fn anna the barna lamka prove another. It's a bijective linear transformation T from V to Fn lamka prove another. That is claim 1 lam t in one linear transformation on the provianum. Claim 2 la t 1 1 on the provianum. Claim 3 la t is on to on the provianum. In the theorem, the proof is not Proof let set alpha 1 alpha 2 etc. alpha n be an ordered basis for v. Dimension v equal to n. So let set alpha 1 alpha 2 etc. alpha n one another. Ordered basis for V is the dimension of the dimension dimension V is equal to N. Let alpha belongs to V. Then alpha has a unique representation. That is we write alpha is equal to C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. plus Cn alpha n. Next we define a linear transformation T from V to Fn by T of alpha is equal to C1 C2 etc. Cn. Either let set alpha on alpha to set alpha in the one be an ordered basis for V on dimension V is equal to N or Let alpha belongs to V. Alpha has a unique representation. So we write alpha as C1 alpha on plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. C and alpha in the define chedu T from V to Fn the linear transformation by T of alpha is equal to C1 C2 etc. C n. Claim 1, T is linear transformation. We will prove that T is linear transformation. Prove it. Okay. Let alpha, comma, beta belongs to V and K belongs to F. Beta is equal to V, right? D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. plus Dn alpha M. Di belongs to F, I running from 1 to etc. M. Next, T of alpha plus beta. Okay, then alpha on the one another C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. Cn alpha n. Beta on the one another D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n. So we write this is equal to T of alpha to stand the C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. plus Cn alpha n node to plus beta to place it D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n. In your next step, we change another. Render alpha 1 and term under C1 alpha 1 known D1 alpha 1 known under. But combine chamber C1 plus D1 alpha 1 there. Next alpha 2 under two terms under C2 alpha 2 under D2 alpha 2 under. So we take alpha 2 outside, we write C2 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. 
Next, last till then, CN alpha n, DN alpha n. Taking alpha n outside, we write CN plus DN alpha n. From this, we write C1 plus D1, comma C2 plus D2, etc. CN plus DN. C1, C2, etc. CN varna T of alpha n. So, we write T of alpha plus D1, D2, etc. DN na T of beta. Na so, we get T of alpha plus beta is equal to T of alpha plus T of beta. Next, we take T of K alpha. That is equal to, we write T of K of, here alpha is C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. Cn alpha n. Okay. Next, we write T of K C1 alpha 1 plus K C2 alpha 2 plus etc. K C n alpha n. Okay. From this we write K C1 comma K C2 comma K C3 etc. K C n. That is K taking outside we write K of C1 C2 etc. C n. We know that C1 C2 etc. C n is T of alpha. So we get K T of alpha. T of K alpha is equal to K into T of alpha. Therefore, T is a linear transformation. Next, claim 2. T is 1, 1. T 1, 1 is Okay. So, let us take alpha beta belongs to V. Such that T of alpha is equal to T of beta. That implies we write T of alpha is equal to T of C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. C n alpha n. That is equal to maybe T of beta nubana, T of D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. D n alpha n. Nana. Okay. From this we write T of C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. C n alpha n. Nana. Nam king nana, C1 C2 etc. C n. Nana. That is equal to T of D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. D n alpha n. Nana, nana. D1 D2 etc. D n. Nana. Okay. From this we write C1 is equal to D1, C2 is equal to D2, etc. Cn is equal to Dn. Okay. That implies we write C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. Cn alpha n is equal to D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n. But C1 alpha 1 plus C2 alpha 2 plus etc. Cn alpha n is alpha n. That is equal to D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n is beta. So we get alpha is equal to beta. If we have T of alpha is equal to T of beta. We get alpha is equal to beta. When the barium T is 1 1 1. Therefore T is 1 1. Next claim the one T is on to on. T on to on to prove you know. Okay. So let us take D1, D2, etc. Dn belongs to Fn. Then Di belongs to F. Let alpha is equal to D1 alpha 1 plus D2 alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n. Then T of alpha is equal to D1, D2, etc. Dn which is belongs to Fn. Therefore T is on to on. Let D1, D2, etc. Dn belongs to Fn. And Di belongs to F. Let alpha is equal to D1, alpha 1 plus D2, alpha 2 plus etc. Dn alpha n. Then T of alpha. D1, D2, etc. Dn. Which is belongs to Fn. Therefore, T is on to. When the T is T linear transformation on the T, T1, one on the T, T on to on the T. That is the bijectly linear transformation on the T. So, V is isomorphic to Fn. Clear on the Next to corollary. Corollary statement. Let V and W be two vector space over the same field F such that dimension V is equal to dimension W that is equal to N. Then V and W are isomorphic. Statement on the end of the day. Let V and W be vector space over the same field F. Same field F will be vector space on V, W. And the dimension V is equal to dimension W. And the angle V and W are isomorphic. We will prove it. V and W are vector space on over the same field F. Dimension V equal to dimension W. And the angle V and W are isomorphic. We will prove it. Next, we are going to discuss the proof of this corollary. Okay. 
Proof let T1 from V to Fn and T2 from W to Fn are two linear transformation and also it is 1 1 and on 2. Then by above theorem V is isomorphic to Fn and W is isomorphic to Fn. Other either let T1 from V to Fn T2 from W to Fn are two 1 1 and on 2 linear transformation anna. Angani anangi above theorem na the uh, theorem pragaram V is isomorphic to Fn anna, W is isomorphic to Fn anna. Angkariam T1 from V to Fn 1 1 on 2 linear transformation anangi. Above theorem pragaram V is isomorphic to Fn anna. Adu boltan ne T2 from W to Fn anna 1 1 on 2 linear transformation anangi. W is isomorphic to Fn anna. Since T2 is bijective and linear, T2 inverse is also bijective and linear. But T2 bijective and linear. Aana. So, T2 inverse one arikim, bijective arikim, and linear. Arikim. Hence, T2 inverse T1 is bijective linear transformation from V to W. Arikim. Hence, T2 inverse T1 is a bijective linear transformation from V to W. That is why V and W are isomorphic. We will prove that V and W are isomorphic. Clear? Analog?